Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In this video, I would like to show you how to find the age of your furnace, any furnace, any brand, using the serial number, which is typically located on the data plate or the data sticker in some cases. And on most furnaces, that data plate will be inside of the furnace cabinet if you take the doors off. Now, if you can't find yours, either it is missing or if it's a metal plate, it could be faded out or sometimes it's just hidden in a very sneaky spot. I have a video where I show where to find the model and serial number of all the household appliances. So if you can't find your data plate, maybe that video can help you out. So on the data plate, if you get lucky, the date will be stamped right on it. Easy to find, easy to read. Unfortunately, most manufacturers thought that would be way too easy. So they cleverly hid the age of the furnace inside of the serial number. Since there's a lot of different brands of furnaces out there, I can't cover all of them. So I only picked five of the big players in the HVAC world, and I'm gonna go over the serial numbers of them. So I have Lennox on here, there's Goodman, Carrier, Train, and Ream. So I only have five of them on here, but at the end of the video, I will share the website with you where I got this, and on there you can look up any brand. So let's go ahead and start with the Lennox furnace. Here's what a serial number would look on many Lennox furnaces. The year can be found typically right after the beginning of the serial number. So in this case, the 99 right here is the year. So this furnace was made in 1999 and the letter immediately after it stands for the month, the production month when it was made. So in this case, L stands for November. So instead of just writing 11, they did L, you know, just to make it a little more difficult for us. Next up, we have Goodman and they switched it up a little bit. They put the year in the very beginning of the serial number. So the year is the first two digits. So 97 would be 1997. And the second two digits would be for the month. 04, I think that's April, right? So it was made on April, 1997. Next we have Carrier. Carrier, once again, switched it up to 40. The first two digits stand for the week the production week when this furnace was made. And the next two digits is for the year. So this one was made on the 40th week of 2006. And by the way, a lot of these brands have the same mother or parent company. Carrier is made by United Technologies and they have a lot of other brands under them. So Carrier, Bryant and Payne, for example, they're all very similar and their serial numbers are read the same way as well. I go over this in more detail, the parent companies and which companies belong to which mother company in my video where I talk about which furnace brand or which AC brand is better. So if you wanna know more about that, check that video out. So that's Carrier. Next we have Train. Train made it a little bit tricky. For Train, they use a letter for the year. So you have to look up the chart with all the letters to find out what the year is. I could never remember all these letters, so every single time I wanna read the age of a train furnace, I end up having to look up that chart every single time. So in our case, the letter R stands for the year 2000. So this furnace was made in the year 2000, and then the second and third digits stand for the week, the production week of when in that year this furnace was manufactured. And finally, we have Ream, and they thought that even this, all of this is way too easy. Let's make it even more complicated. So first of all, they made their serial number twice as long as most other brands, and they cleverly hid their serial number right in the middle in the mix of all these other letters and numbers. So typically on a ream, I always look for a letter right in the middle of a serial number. So this one is F. I believe this letter stands for which location this furnace was manufactured at. After that letter, we have our digits for the year and the week. So 09, the first two digits is gonna be the week, when the furnace was manufactured, and then the third and fourth digit after the letter stand for the year. So it was made on the ninth week in 1999. So these were the five brands of furnaces that I wrote down. And as you can see, between the five of them, none of them were the same. Each one was a little bit different of where they hid the age of the furnace. And I think Ream beats the cake on this one. I mean, they, they were probably the most sneaky about their age. Although train comes pretty close because they just used a letter altogether. You have to look up a chart every time. But what do you think? Which one of these was the most sneaky about it? 
But yes, there are many different brands of furnaces out there and almost every one of them will tweak it a little bit or hide it a little bit differently than the other brand. And they don't just stop there, it gets worse. About every 10 years, they change the style of their serial numbers. So for example, Ream, from 1970 to 1980, they can have this style of a serial number. And from 1980 to 1990, their serial number format changes. And then from 90 to 2000, it changes again. And from 2010 and onwards, it changes again. So it's almost impossible to keep track of all the different styles of serial numbers. So the site that I use, which is just fantastic for furnace age, for HVAC age, for furnace, AC, water heaters, or any HVAC units, the site I use is building-center.org. Very fantastic site. You go to guides and index pages, the tab on top, click on HVAC brands, and then find the brand that you're looking for and it will have all the styles for that brand. All you have to do is match the style that you have with one of the styles that they have listed and that will be the serial number that you're looking for. So the next time that you're looking for the age of a furnace or an air conditioner, try using this site and I'm sure you will find the answer that you're looking for. Anyway, that is all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new about furnace serial numbers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, check out this 3D cube that I recently learned how to draw.